Building a website used to mean paying hundreds of dollars, learning to code, or spending weeks on weird drag and drop editors. But in 2025, AI website builders can do it all in minutes for free. I've spent the past month testing dozens of them and picked out four that gave the best results. Now it's time to put them head to head and see which one really does it best. So in this video, we'll compare them side by side and see which free AI website builder is best for you. And honestly, the one that won really surprised me. I don't think it's the one most people would expect. Now, before we start off, I'll leave all the links down below Below so you can follow along. We'll test each website builder with one prompt since they all let you create a website that way. We'll build a small creative studio site with four pages, modern design, and simple sections. The prompt we will be pasting is this. I want a website for a small creative studio with four pages, home, about, portfolio, and contact. Use a clean modern design with light colors and simple fonts. The site should be responsive and best on mobile. Add a hero section with a headline and a button on the home page. The portfolio page should have a gallery grid of projects. On the contact page, include a contact form with email, name, and message. Add animation and hover effects on the buttons and image and include social media icons in the footer. So we're using a simple yet real life example of what you would actually build with the tools we're testing today, because you will not be building some Apple high tech website. It's probably something simple. And now AI tools give you the chance to do it yourself. So with that being said, let's jump into our first tool called Replit. Replit is a tool created by a startup founded back in 2016. It's best known as an online code platform that also lets you build websites with AI. When you first log on to Replit, the first window you see looks like this. Pretty simple. You just want to go with your normal login process, whether it's Google or GitHub. Once that's done, this window will appear. The advanced features you'll get into after some time are on the left, including your apps, published apps, integrations, and usage. In the middle, you have your usual prompt section and you can change up the themes. You can select from some themes that are already attached here, or you can manage your own. After adding attachments, you can choose to start with a web app, a data app, or even a 3D game. You also have a little bit of an introduction to their Agent 3. But besides that, let's just paste in our prompt and see what we get as a result. And as you can see, I've entered my prompt and the tool is already working. You can see all of the stuff that Replit is running in the background, which is a really cool addition. A lot of tools hide this, but having it here makes it feel like it's actually doing something, which I think is cool. And as you can see, our final result is ready. And I'd honestly say it looks really cool. I like the modern look. It has modern colors and modern fonts. As I scroll further down the website, it has all of the matching designs and it looks very professional. It has some callouts at the bottom here and it has a headline. Let's click on get started, which was in our prompt. And this also looks very professional. There's a place where you can send a message. Let's head over to the portfolio. And here too, everything is really cool. You have different sorting by branding, web design and digital, which if this actually were someone's website would be really helpful. So all in all, I'd say that this is a very nicely done website that 100% fits what we prompted. This is a more than usable website. If you just go in there, change the text a bit and you are set within just a couple of seconds. So Replit definitely gets, I'd say a pretty high score for the design right off the bat. Now, when it comes to price with Replit specifically, you do have a free plan that we just used that allows you to build websites the same way we did just now, but you cannot actually publish your live app or website. You would have to upgrade to be able to publish it. Their first plan is called core, which comes down to $20 a month if billed annually or $25 if you're paying month to month. So realistically, if you want to do anything serious with Replit, if you want to have a lot of people visiting, have your own domain, private projects, better hosting performance, and all the stuff that you really want from a website, the things that are basically the bare minimum, you would have to pay for that. So even though Replit completely crushed it with how well it actually delivered the website, it does come out a little bit worse in terms of pricing. The next tool also comes with a free plan and it gives you a lot more to use before you have to pay for anything. Let's take a look at that. And our next tool is called Firebase and it is actually made by Google itself, which is a big plus when it comes to experience and credibility. Now it's known for making it really easy to build and host apps and its free plan is one of the most generous, giving you plenty of room to get started without paying anything. So for you guys who are just after the best free option, this is the one you would definitely want to stick around for. When you log into Firebase, this is what you'll be met with. Very minimalistic. Inside this little window, you can prompt anything you want. You don't really have a lot of things to choose from. And then you have your new workspaces on the bottom. I've already run my prompt and I'd say that Firebase is kind of in the middle when it comes to generation time. The speed is right in the middle, not too fast, not too slow. Now for the actual app, let's take a look. And the first thing I'm noticing is that right off the bat, it is looking good, but it's looking way less modern than the one from Replit. Replit nailed the modern style, while Firebase comes across as a bit older in its design. Now when it comes down to working buttons and stuff like that, it definitely works. You can hover over things and they pop up. 
but I just generally think this one is a little bit slower. Not everything is clicking, which is a bit of a downside. You don't have a clear contact window like we asked for. It only has the our work section that showcases what our studio does. This section feels unfinished because of the inconsistent image cropping. Aside from that, you could go back and forth in the chat to fix things, but that wouldn't be fair since we're only testing the very first result. And this one is definitely a worse result than Replit. But when it comes down to actually publishing and using your website, Google gives you $300 in free credits that you can spend over 90 days. The pricing structure is a little different for Firebase. They give you a free plan that includes hosting, storage, databases, and pretty generous quotas. $300 for 90 days free is more than enough to launch a small website like the one we just built. Something short, not expecting a lot of traffic. The catch is that as you go over those limits, or if you want advanced features like custom domains, you need to move into their paid plan. That plan works on a pay-as-you-go basis instead of a flat fee. It depends very much on traffic, storage, and other things. As your website grows, the cost goes up, which I think is a fair structure, but it's definitely different from what you may be used to, where you either pay monthly or get credits. I'm going to rank it high for its pricing structure. The design and quality here fall behind Replit by quite a bit, but for our next one, we're going to be checking out something that supposedly gives us a much better design than both of the prior tools. So let's go and take a look at that. And that brings us to Bolt. It is a tool made by Stackblitz, and it's known for being a very fast AI app and site builder that also lets you edit the code itself. When you log in, it definitely feels more modern looking. Here you also get a pretty minimal setup in terms of what you can do with the prompting. On the left side, you have your settings and prior chats, and in the middle, you have your prompting window. I'll paste my prompt, hit send, and you'll see it run through a bunch of processes. And then the website we get is actually pretty similar to Replit. To me, it looks just a little bit more modern, just a little bit better, especially coming right after Firebase, which only gave us something pretty basic. This looks like a really impressive website right away. At the bottom, we have the different sections that we asked for, but also the about section has been expanded, giving more detail than the previous builders, which helps explain the studio better. When you open the portfolio section, you can sort the work into different types, but overall, you can still view all the projects together. They've also added a frequently asked questions section, which helps address common concerns and gives visitors more clarity. This one is fully functional, unlike what we got with Firebase. I would say in terms of the first result itself, I like this more than I did with Replit. It just seems more my style, but this is very much preference-based. What is not preference-based though, is the fact that everything is working. We don't need to tweak it any further. This feels much closer to a finished website, unlike what we saw earlier with Firebase. Now, in terms of pricing, Bolt actually gives you a pretty good free plan as well. When you're only testing to see if it works, this lets you take your website further than Replit does. They give you both a daily and a monthly token limit, which is basically how much you can generate. It's a fair amount, but it runs out fast if you're building bigger sites. Since we're building a pretty small website, this works fine. But if you are building something bigger than what we did, it's going to run out quickly. On the free plan, you also get the branding. As you can see in the bottom right here, there's a made with Bolt section. You cannot hook it up to a custom domain, which is a common theme here. To connect a custom domain, you have to run on a paid plan. So if you want to remove the branding, connect your own domain and get much higher usage, the pro plan for $25 is a must have. But you do get a fully running website without it, which is definitely a plus. It's somewhat similar to Firebase, as it actually provides something usable. Up to this point, it feels like the best of both worlds, Firebase's pricing and Replit's design, putting Bolt in first place for now. But there's still one tool that can beat it, probably the most well-known website creator today. Let's check that one out right now. The last tool in our lineup today is Lovable, a fairly new option, but they did well with their marketing, and that's the tool I've heard the most about recently. When you log into Lovable, it has a pretty minimalistic prompting window. You do have a little more you can tweak here in the prompting section. The workspace for team and personal projects is here, but it requires a higher subscription. You can even use your mic to speak prompts. I'm going to paste in my prompt and click create. Now Lovable is pretty fast when it comes to generating a website, and I actually think it nailed it with the design as well. It is similar to Replit and Bolt, but that's definitely not a bad thing. I would say the website itself looks good, so let's actually check it out. On the home page, it looks the most similar to the others. If you scroll down, there's an almost identical what we do best section similar to the one we saw with Bolt. And the About section, it feels a little more up to date. When we check out the portfolio, we see the same sort of setup. It has branding for web design, web interface, and product packaging, which to me seems more modern and tailored. Overall, it looks pretty similar to the past results. When we click on the contact button, this one actually looks a bit cleaner. Everything works, which is a big plus here, especially after Firebase, which had a lot of problems. I'd say the quality and design here are really solid, especially for Lovable. Now when it comes to Lovable's pricing, each day you just get a few credits 
edits to build and edit sites. As with all the other ones, everything you make is public. The nice thing is you can deploy sites and sync them with GitHub, but to remove the branding or use your own domain, you'll need to pay. The first upgrade, like the others, is the pro plan for $25 a month. It gives you private projects, more credits, custom domains, and takes away the lovable branding. But if you don't care too much about that, you can still definitely use the tool and even publish a simple website. So after looking at each tool, which one makes the most sense for you? All of the tools are good in their own way. They give you very fast and usable results, but let's now rank them. Firebase definitely ends up in last place simply because it didn't work, while the other tools worked flawlessly. Replit takes third place for me, since it's restrictive and doesn't let you publish. I'd put Lovable second, it has fewer credits and editing, but you can publish and link to GitHub, which is a big plus. Bold is number one here, since it mixes quality with free trial access. This is the tool I'd use to make a free AI website. But here's the problem. As you saw, a lot of these builders create websites that look alike, so you don't really get much brand identity out of them. In the next video, I'll show you how to use AI to copy a pro website, customize it, and make it your own. Check it out and start upgrading your website, and I'll see you in the next one.